Palantir Technologies, PLTR, is on the verge of experiencing what many are calling its NVIDIA moment, a pivotal inflection point where its growth and scalability could lead to exponential returns. NVIDIA, the semiconductor giant, had a similar moment when the rise of artificial intelligence, AI, catapulted it from a tech darling to a trillion-dollar company. Now, some analysts believe that Palantir could follow a similar trajectory, with the potential to 20x in the coming years. At the center of this optimism is Palantir's unique positioning in the AI and data analytics space, its strong financials, its founders' control via special F shares, and the concept of ontology, which sets it apart from competitors. Add to this its remarkable year-over-year -year growth of around 21%, zero debt, and scalability, and Palantir seems poised for extraordinary success. In this video, we will explore why Palantir's fundamentals, leadership, and innovative technology could make it the most important software company in the world, and why the rule of 40 is an essential metric in understanding its future potential. What is the NVIDIA moment? NVIDIA's meteoric rise from a high-performance graphics card manufacturer to an AI powerhouse is a blueprint for how a company can experience explosive growth when it is positioned at the forefront of a transformative technology. NVIDIA's stock price multiplied many times over during this journey, and today it has become one of the most valuable companies in the world, largely thanks to the AI boom. Palantir is similarly poised for such a breakthrough. As AI becomes integrated into every sector, whether government, healthcare, finance, or defense, Palantir's data-driven platforms have the potential to become indispensable. Analysts are calling Palantir's upcoming breakthrough its NVIDIA moment because the company, like NVIDIA, stands at the nexus of a massive technological shift. The rule of 40 is an important metric that investors use to evaluate the health of high-growth software companies. It is calculated by adding a company's revenue growth rate to its profit margin. If the sum is greater than 40%, the company is considered to be in a strong position to scale sustainably. For Palantir, the rule of 40 presents a positive picture. With a year-over-year -year revenue growth rate of about 21% and operating margins improving significantly, Palantir is closing in on this benchmark. The company has focused on achieving profitability while continuing to grow aggressively, making it a rare breed in the world of tech startups that often burn cash to fuel expansion. Palantir's gross margins are strong, hovering around 80%, and the company has no debt on its balance sheet. These metrics put Palantir in an excellent financial position to continue investing in research and development while also ensuring its scalability. Palantir's founders, including CEO Alex Karp, have maintained strong control over the company through the issuance of special F shares. These shares give the founders voting rights that far exceed those of regular shareholders, ensuring that they can steer the company's long-term vision without the risk of being ousted by short-term investors. By the way, if you are benefiting from the content so far and want more like this, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell, and comment the word more. Just go ahead and type the word more so I know. Now that you've commented, let's continue. While some might see this as a negative, arguing that it limits shareholder influence, the F shares are a key reason why Palantir has been able to focus on its long-term goals rather than getting caught up in quarterly earnings. This control structure has allowed the company to pursue ambitious, high-impact projects that may take years to materialize, all while remaining relatively insulated from the volatility of the stock market. One of the most misunderstood aspects of Palantir's technology is its concept of ontology. In simple terms, an ontology is a framework that allows organizations to integrate and organize data from different sources in a coherent and usable way. Unlike traditional databases, which are often siloed and difficult to scale, ontologies enable seamless interaction between disparate data sets. Palantir's Gotham and Foundry platforms use ontology to help organizations make sense of their data, turning it into actionable intelligence. This is particularly valuable in sectors like defense, where real-time decision-making can be a matter of life and death, and in complex industries like healthcare, where a unified view of data can lead to breakthrough insights. In the world of AI, ontology gives Palantir a unique advantage. 
It enables the company to not only gather vast amounts of data but to make it useful in a way that few other companies can. While other tech giants like Microsoft have tried and failed to build similar fabric platforms, Palantir's ontology remains a significant differentiator in the data analytics space. Palantir's fundamentals are rock solid. The company has reported consistent revenue growth of around 21% year over year, driven by both its government and commercial businesses. In its most recent quarter, Palantir beat analyst expectations on both earnings and revenue, signaling strong operational performance. Moreover, Palantir's gross margins remain exceptional, at around 80%, and the company carries no debt on its balance sheet. This financial stability allows Palantir to invest heavily in research and development, particularly in AI-driven technologies that are expected to drive future growth. One of the most exciting aspects of Palantir's business model is its scalability. The company's platforms, Gotham for government clients and Foundry for commercial enterprises, are designed to be scalable across industries and geographies. As more companies and governments realize the power of AI-driven data analytics, Palantir's customer base is likely to expand rapidly. In addition to scalability, Palantir has made significant strides in achieving profitability. The company recently reported several quarters of positive free cash flow, a key milestone for a high-growth company. This combination of scalability and profitability is rare, and it positions Palantir to continue growing without the need for external financing. One of Palantir's greatest strengths is its leadership team, particularly CEO Alex Karp and co-founder Peter Thiel. Karp has a clear vision for the company's future, and he has repeatedly emphasized Palantir's focus on building long-term value rather than catering to the whims of short-term investors. Under Karp's leadership, Palantir has navigated complex regulatory environments, won major government contracts, and expanded its commercial business. The company's focus on building trust with its customers, particularly in sensitive industries like defense and healthcare, has allowed it to grow rapidly without compromising its core values. Like any high-growth technology stock, Palantir has been subject to significant market volatility. Investors who bought in during the company's early days have seen the stock experience sharp ups and downs, with periods of extreme pessimism followed by rapid gains. It's important to remember that these fluctuations are a natural part of investing in disruptive companies. As Palantir continues to grow and execute on its strategy, short-term price movements should not distract investors from the company's long-term potential. As AI adoption accelerates across industries, Palantir is approaching a critical inflection point, its NVIDIA moment. This moment refers to the point at which Palantir's technology becomes indispensable to its customers, driving exponential growth in both revenue and market value. NVIDIA experienced a similar moment and the rise of AI and machine learning created massive demand for its GPUs. Palantir, with its focus on AI-driven data analytics, is similarly poised to benefit from the AI revolution. The company's platforms are already being used by some of the world's most important organizations, and as AI becomes more deeply integrated into business operations, Palantir's customer base is likely to grow exponentially. Given Palantir's unique technology, strong financials, and visionary leadership, it's not hard to imagine the company becoming one of the most important software companies in the world. Its platforms are already being used by governments, militaries, and major corporations, and its scalability means that it can continue to expand into new markets. If Palantir continues to execute on its strategy and capture a significant share of the AI and data analytics markets, its market cap could increase dramatically. Some analysts believe that Palantir could 20x over the next decade, turning it into a trillion-dollar company and making early investors extremely wealthy. Remember that God the creator of heaven and earth will bless you abundantly, make you the head and not the tail if you love him and obey his word. Acknowledge him in your plans and he will direct your paths. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 If you have watched the whole video until the end, drop a comment like this. I stayed until the end. Just comment that I stayed until the end. When I see this comment, I will give you a heart. There are three more important steps to build wealth. 
First, like this video, subscribe and then turn on the notifications bell. If you do this, you highly motivate me to continue bringing to you educative and transformative videos every week. Do not miss out on our future videos full of knowledge and wisdom, all I am asking is your subscription. Thanks for joining us today, your support is appreciated so much. Do not hesitate to share this video to help someone, I recommend that you watch the next video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts about today's video. Thank you, see you in the next video by God's grace, we love you, and blessings to you.